Oh my gosh. What? All right, I'm gonna try this little voodoo shrimp now. Whoa. Wow. Something good here. Just hammered the voodoo. Shaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. I just plopped the skiff in the water, as you saw, but it's not my skiff. It's actually my friend Raphael's skiff, but he's out of town. He lent it to me for like a week or so, and uh, today we're gonna take it out and just try and get on a nice multi-species multi bite with some light tackle. I also have some shrimp, and we're gonna throw a lot of different kinds of artificials. So let's hop on and uh, get after it. There we go. Let's deploy the trolling motor. All right, so we're gonna start off just on this flat here and right there you can see there's an oyster bar. So that oyster bar uh, could have some jack of all on it, snook, trout, and if we're extremely lucky, maybe some redfish. And uh, where we launched, the tide was starting to come in, but here it's uh, kind of still slack water. So we're just gonna fish this spot for the next like 30 minutes to an hour at least uh, and just wait for this incoming tide to get to this spot and uh, there should be some fish starting to stage here once it flows over this oyster bar so let's uh, start casting around some lures all right I'm gonna start off with this little spook that looks like a finger mullet and I have it tied on with a loop knot so that it'll have a lot of side to side walk in action and I think it should and entice at least one or two bites in this spot but I'll take like two dozen three dozen casts with it if we do not get anything then I'll switch to maybe something subsurface by the way I have to give a huge shout out to my buddy Taylor for actually showing me this spot like a month or so ago and if it wasn't for him I wouldn't be uh, at this spot we didn't do too well the first time and the only other time that I've been on this spot I, I think we got a couple small jacks but I did get a nice snook uh, on like a little Yozuri twitch bait here and there was a lot more current so that's why we'll probably hang out here until we get some better current flow and then if we can you know can't st if we still can't get any fish then we'll move somewhere else Oh, 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 getting swirled on, getting swirled on, getting swirled on, getting swirled on. Oh, come on, get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, he still missed it. That time, at least he got the hooks a little bit. Well, that was cool. Oh, did I get tangled? I got tangled. Well, there's some fish here. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> the blow-up's way out on the end of the cast there, but they're here. That was cool. 
hard to make out what those, oh, what those fish are. That was another good bite. Dang, son. They're not that coordinated. And there's like a really shallow part to this oyster bar that sticks out there that's just slightly submerged and they're sitting right on the back side of that. Come on, come on, get it this time, get it this time, get it this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They might be small Jack Creval, or they could have been snook or like a mix of both. Some of them kind of looked like a like 25, 26 inch snook. Oh, there was a good bite. Dang, why can't I get any? He's still on it, he's still on it. There he is, got him, nice. A feisty little snook. I slowed it down just for a second and it was enough to get him to eat it. Not a big one, but definitely super fun for the light tackle and a good fish to start the day on. Oh, there we go. See ya. All right, sweet. Well, I'm having fun and we've only been fishing for five minutes. That's what I'm talking about. Again, huge shout out to Taylor. You the man. Oh, I think I'm getting swirled on. Oh, there he, there he was. Let me slow it down, speed it up, slow it down. Come on, come on back, come on back, come on back. Oh, yep, getting popped. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Come on. Come on. That first one followed it all the way out from the oyster bar and basically hit it like right in front of us, which was cool. We're only in about like a foot and a half of water, but it right on that bar right now, it's only like five, six inches. Oh, there's another snook right there. Woo! This might be a little bit better one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is a better one here. I'm really stoked with how this bite has started out because I'll be honest, I was a little uneasy with how the bite was gonna be because the last like three, four days have been rainy and pretty chilly and very windy. So it's cool to see that, oh, there's a big jack that just followed up this uh, snook. Got him. Nice. All right, let's see how long this guy is before we throw him back. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, there's a dolphin hanging out around me waiting for me to throw this fish back. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and maybe like a quarter. This fish is only 24 and a quarter inches. But just look, again, look how fat she is. All right. I'm gonna put her in the water, but then I'm gonna bring her a little closer to the oyster bar before dropping her off. Otherwise, this fish will probably become dolphin food. Look at this. This dolphin is right here following me. They know I have fish.
All right, pretty sweet. I'm having an awesome time out here. And by the way, huge shout out to Tide Chasers for sponsoring today's video. And right now I am repping one of their Tide Chaser uh, jackets, which is awesome because today is kind of like a misty day. So uh, it's eventually gonna burn off this mist and fog and it's supposed to be sunny. But for now, this uh, jacket's keeping me cool and comfortable uh, while I'm out here on the water and dry. And I also have one of their bamboo long sleeve tees on underneath. So that's kind of a really nice base layer for a day like this. But uh, if you check out their site, they also have bibs and they have a lot of other apparel items, uh, like some really awesome sweatshirts and t-shirts. So uh, check the link in the description and uh, use code fishaholic at checkout to save on your entire order. And by supporting them, you also help support this channel. So uh, thank you so much again uh, to Tide Chasers and thank you to you guys for uh, tuning in and watching uh, these videos. So uh, let's get back to the action now. Oh, there's another fish. Oh, he came off. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Are you serious? Another good fish there. And I must have got cut off on the oysters. Yep. I lost the plug that was working. Typical. That was a good fish too. That might have been bigger. Let's try this spook, I guess. All right, hopefully this one works. Oh God, I think it'll work. <laughs> Literally took two twitches with it. <laughs> it got nailed. This feels like a little bit bigger Jack Craval. So maybe that last one was a Jack and he just ripped it across the top of that oyster bar and it probably just hit the braid the oysters and it just cut it instantly oh no 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 this is a smart fish this fish went right to the corner of this oyster bar that's up a little higher and she tried ripping hard down current to, to break off the line right on that edge. Look at that belly. That jack's been eating well. Oh my gosh! <laughs> right in that one spot as soon as it hits the water. Oh man, the jacks are nailing it. <laughs> oh, this is an awesome light tackle bite. Oh no, this fish is on that far side of the oyster bar.
Oh yeah. This is a little bit more of a respectable light tackle jack. Yeah, not bad, especially for a light setup like this. And by the way, this is the seven foot dark matter uh, green psychedelic spinning rod that is uh, medium fast action. And I have it paired with this uh, Daiwa Ballistic MQLT 4000. And I'm using a 15 pound Green Moss Power Pro braid and a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Sweet. All right, let's get back to it. Hopefully we can get another snook here. Oh, just got popped. Oh, oh, they're on me. They're on me. There he is. Ah, got him. I wonder if that was the same snook that first popped it or there could have been like two or three of them all after it. Nice little guy. They love it how it swings in this current over this oyster bar. It looks real natural. So I think that's why they're loving this spook. Oh, getting swirled on, getting swirled on. There he is again. Another snook. Woo -hoo -hoo. I just love it when they're flying out of the water like that. Nice. Oh, quick release. I'm okay with that. He was going back anyways. Being that there's, there seems to be a lot of snook here right now. Like we're gonna have to definitely slow it down with some subsurface lures to see if we can get them to eat that before we go. And I could also even drift a live shrimp through here and maybe get one. Oh, 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 look at that. That's a snook, that's a snook, that's a snook. The small one. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That was quick. Oh my gosh, what? Come to Papa. There he is. All right, I'm gonna try this little voodoo shrimp now. Let's load it up with a bunch of Dr. Juice so it has a bunch of flavor. And by the way, if you guys wanna get a free bottle of this Dr. Juice, just check that link in the description and Salt Strong will hook you up. And I believe you, all you have to do is pay a couple dollars for the shipping and they'll send you the bottle for free. I'm gonna try uh, just swinging this little voodoo in the current right towards that point that has some good current going around it now. Whoa! Wow. Something good here. Just hammered the voodoo. Uh, this has to be a jack. But it's kind of not fighting like one. It could also be a nice size snook. 
Oh my God, he's going right on those rocks there. This is a smart fish. Oh man, what do I have here? Dang. Oh man, this fish just keeps going for those rocks and oysters. She's smart. This might be a nice snook. Oh yeah, 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 there, we, there she is. That looks like a nice slot sized snook. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh God, that leader is so shaped up right now. I'm glad I'm using 40 right now. If I was using 30, this fish would have already been gone. There we go, nice. That's a good slot size snook. There she goes. All right, let's see if there's any more fish along here. Another good bite. That felt like a snook too. Ah, missed them again. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that one. Wow. All right, well the bite has slowed up here quite a bit, so we're gonna fire up the engine and head a little bit further south to our next spot. All right, we made it. And now hopefully we'll be able to see some pompano jumping around in this area. All right, well I cruised around for probably like 10 minutes looking for jumping pompano and I did not see any, so. I'm just gonna cast the shrimp out on a float rig. And 
That should be good. And then I'm going to cast around this little voodoo shrimp. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get some pompano. Or I'd be really excited if we could get a permit as well. Last week, right here in this exact spot, I got a per nice permit on this little voodoo shrimp that I'm starting with now. There he is, fish on. Hopefully not just a catfish. Ah. Surprisingly, I got my bait back. I'm gonna try cutting it in half and then throwing it out there next. Oh my gosh, the bobber's down again. Ah, just another catfish. I might not be able to use live bait with all the catfish around. All right, I made a slight move uh, a little further down and the pompano didn't really seem to be in that first area that we were hitting. So I'm gonna try just fishing this dock here. There we go. Alright, well, hopefully we can see if there's uh, some sheep's head hungry in the area. And since uh, we can't get the pompano right now, if I can at least get a couple sheeps in the box, I'll be really happy. And maybe on our way back we'll have a shot. Oh, oh, I'm getting some bites. That felt like a sheep's head. Whoa, that's not a sheep's head. Dang. It'll be a miracle if we get this fish out of the, out of the dock. Well, we got him out somehow. Oh my God, he's going back into the dock. Oh, we got a sheep, nice. I actually thought that was gonna be a jack. Nice, there we go. That's a really good keeper sheep right there. Phew. Nice. Oh, perfect. So ideally I'm trying to cast my shrimp in at, in at this dock, uh, probably like a foot or less off of these pilings and the sheep's head tend to feed up and down the dock but usually they'll like use their their teeth uh, that look kind of like sheep's teeth that's why they're called sheep's head to gnaw at a lot of the growth that um, is on these pilings like oysters seaweed barnacles and that type of growth is like the perfect habitat for small crabs and little shrimp to hide on so that's why the sheep's head love to um, work pilings for their dinner. So if you're trying to catch them, you want to make sure you you know put your bait close to the piling, and then eventually, uh, you know, a sheep's head will swim along and pro probably see it and eat it. Oh, we got a fish on here. Oh, it's a skate or a stingray. Come on, buddy. I wasn't expecting that. All right, we're starting to move around this dock. I'm gonna hit the opposite side. Oh, just got eight right here. What is this? Oh, ladyfish. see more sheep's head right in here. 
Like you see those two pilings on the other side? I was casting at those two pilings, but I didn't have a bite there. But they're on like the um, protected side from the current. So they probably just never saw my bait. Oh, just got eight. Oh, what do I got here? Oh my God, this fish is ripping. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's a blue runner. I did not expect that. It's crazy, there, there's a bunch of sheep's head on all of these pilings, but every single time I toss the bait in there, they just get spooked and they swim away. I don't know what to do. All right, let's see if this dock gives up a little bit of dinner. I also switched to a 15 pound fluoro liter because maybe these fish are just a little finicky in this clear water. Oh, yeah. got him. Finally, got another sheep's head. That took a while. Jeez. Look at how fat this one is. Wow. They're definitely eating good. I'm curious to see what's in his belly, so I hope this one's a keeper. Oh yeah, he's just about 13 inches. Sweet. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting little nibbles like sheep's head. Oh yeah. There we go. Whew. Got him. These sheeps just seem to be turning on, I guess, as we're getting later into the evening. All right, this one's another 13 incher. All right, well, I think that's gonna be about a wrap for this video. And it was an awesome day, especially being that we got to come out in the skiff. So huge shout out to Raphael for lending it to me. And right now I don't have my boat. Uh, it's getting some work done on it. So really the only thing we could have done other than this was probably hit the surf or go out on the kayak again but i've been going out in the kayak quite a bit so it was nice to have a change of pace today and i would say the highlight of the day was probably that 30 inch snook that i got on the oyster bar so that was uh really cool especially with the light tackle and also the second highlight is getting at least three sheep's head to bring home because i'm also uh, meeting my dad back at my place and now i can lay us up some fish and bring it back for a little fish fry for the both of us and it is going to be delicious. So anyway, let's head out of here and oh, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vid, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button down below and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode and like always, live to fish, fish to live.